So I recently made a video where I used AI to kind of analyze this specious argument being made for why Craig Wright was Satoshi Nakamoto, and it got kind of a lot of attention, and it stirred the beehive a little bit with regards to Bitcoin maximalists who believe this really is Satoshi, even resulting in the r slash Bitcoin uh, Reddit mods making a rather specious argument for why uh, my post didn't meet the community guidelines. Now, I'll spare the details. You can go back and look at my profile for that video if you want to watch it in depth. But it basically, it does, in fact, uh, highlight a bunch of like logical fallacies that are being presented. The video also did prompt some pretty good responses to the valid use case that I was presenting for large language models and AI. And this user gave me the idea. What if we were to feed the entire transcript of Craig Wright's testimony in court to the LLM and ask it to do a similar sort of critical evaluation and analysis and to some of the questions and answers being provided during his testimony. So naturally, that's exactly what I did. In combination with WebGPT, I used the Vox script custom GPT to pull in the YouTube transcripts directly from day three of Craig Wright's full testimony. I also gave it some clear instructions, emphasizing that I wanted a balanced viewpoint, I wanted a critical evaluation, and I didn't want to bias the LLM into one opinion or the other. Now I'm gonna fast forward a bit through the boring parts, and also it does in fact have to tackle this in two parts due to the size of this video, but the uh, LLM does accurately go ahead and critically anal analyzes what parts were compelling and also points out some of the critical flaws and maybe the self-contradictions that Wright keeps presenting during his testimony. So I ask it to proceed, and it does. It finishes ingesting the transcript, and then more or less stays consistent with its evaluation that there are inconsistencies in the testimony being provided, and there's complexities and problems with the complexity of the information being presented. Now, it does caveat at the end that it does require additional technical analysis and evidence, supporting evidence to make a final conclusion. So that is what WebGPT specializes in. So I ask it to go get that supplemental knowledge and it does get a couple other citations and then forms its final opinion. And while maybe not so much WebGPT, but LLMs in general have had a history of hallucinating and to assuage any concerns over questions over whether or not this LLM in fact really did access the transcript, I went ahead and asked it to cite specific excerpts from the actual Q&A that it found interesting and compelling to forming its final conclusion. Does that say or was it intended to give proof, cryptographic proof, that you are Satoshi Nakamoto? No. Like the um, thing where Sartre came to this country and, and said, no, I'm not going to accept the Nobel Prize, I said, I won't accept that designation. I'm not going to do it. First of all, when you do blog posts like this, are you typing it in or are you, or you back then also dictating this in? No, neither. Um, right back from... Um, 2003, I've been using other parties to run websites that I have. So the process is I will type it into a Word doc. And as you can see, the AI is still not convinced. It cites some of the exchanges it found problematic and justifies its broader context within its larger opinion. 